Well, hey guys, how you doing today? Out for my usual walk in the graveyard. Uh, today we're talking about <laughs> how, how goddamn embarrassing is it that we have had this billionaire uh, uh, space race where uh, they're actually reporting in the news, they're actually telling us about, they're actually informing us that, oh, hey guys, billionaires are racing up into space and Oh, did you hear? Branson beat uh, uh, beat Jeff Bezos into space, and Jeff Bezos gave Branson such such a congratulations that it had to show his high emotional uh, uh, intelligence. And oh, what a what a wise and generous like the whole thing is childish and shows how childish our culture is that we're essentially entranced by the equivalent of dangling keys that. The, that Elon Musk and, and, and Bezos and Branson, that we're supposed to give a shit what these billionaires who are withholding hundreds of billions of dollars, who have extracted hundreds of billions of dollars out of the populace over the course of this pandemic, and we're supposed to turn around and, and actually be entranced by this quote-unquote space race. And when you actually look at what is it they're racing to do, Literally, it's a race to see which one of these billionaires can get up into space. Uh, it's a national, cultural, civilization level embarrassment. Like, like Nero playing the fiddle as Rome burns. We're all just supposed to look up to the sky and be like, wow, it's so wonderful and great that billionaires are starting to get into space. And what makes it even more embarrassing and what makes it even more pathetic is that China and Russia have created an alliance uh, and an agreement with one another. They believe that they can get a base on the moon by 2035, fully operational, fully ready to go. Given the successes that China has been having with its fusion reactor, a project that we're not even beginning to, to work towards, given the successes that it's been having with the Three Gorges Dam, given the successes that it's been having uh, uh, with the Belt and Road Initiative, it, there's every reason to believe that the Chinese are going to be able, uh, with the aid of the Russians, are going to be able to get a base on the moon. And while they're doing an actual serious building project, while they're doing something that, you know, an advanced civilization that actually wants to build and actually advance its civilization would do, here we are clapping our hands at the jangling keys that are, oh look, Elon Musk is going to the moon, going to space, who cares? If you're one of these people that bounce out of these videos around this time, please be sure to like, please be sure to share, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you have a dollar jangling around your pocket, I could sure use it. Donations down below. And uh, I have a live stream, 6 to 9 p.m. every single weekday. Please consider coming on in. We are planning the revolutionary project. And boy, howdy, could we use your help. So, what and, and how are the Americans going to actually react to this? Well, first, they're going to just treat the populace as they are, right? Americans are children at this stage in the game. They deny the existence of climate change. They don't give a fuck about anything, right? We are looking at a civilization of crying, whinging babies, right? Uh, de Dementia-ridden geriatrics that are heading out the door screaming about the dangers of communism is essentially the American culture. Meanwhile, the communists are literally building moon bases. Like, it's, it's become a, a high-level embarrassment for those of us that actually, you know, read books and pay attention. And so what are the Americans going to do in the face of a communist society that's actually advancing well beyond uh, Western civilization? Oh, they're going to build a space force, right? Now, uh, people like Neil deGrasse Tyson have come up in defense of things like a space force, right? That, oh, there are all kinds of situations that could require some kind of military action. But let's be really honest about what this space force is being used for, because we know who the Americans are. We're well aware that the Americans are the largest terrorist organization in the world. That's not me saying that, that's the hag. 
pe the people who were responsible for trying the Nazis after World War II in the Nuremberg trials, they have come out and declared the Americans the largest terrorist organization in the world. Uh, we should believe them. And what are they going to do with the Space Force, do you figure? What do you think they're going to do with the Space Force? Do you think, do you think they're going to attempt to cooperate with the rest of the world? Do you think they're going to attempt to try and build in space? Do you think they're going to attempt to actually do anything rational and reasonable? No, they're going to use the Space Force exactly how they use their military, which is that they're going to blow up any initiative that supersedes their objectives. So the Chinese and the Russians are gonna go ahead with actually building something that's worth looking at, you know, the way an actual civilization uh, uh, would. And the barbarians are gonna do everything they can to destroy it. And because space is a very fragile, unforgiving place, a place where there is no oxygen, there is no resources, there's nothing to fall back on if something goes wrong. You only have the people you are with and the things you brought with you. And if the Americans want to destroy what you're building, the, you know, the way they destroyed the Middle East, the way they destroyed Africa, the way they committed a genocide against the First Nations people, the way that they've consistently, constantly destroyed every single thing they've ever touched, including now their own nation, uh, if, if they want to destroy uh, anything that gets built in space, they will. Because that's their ethos, this is who they are. And we're supposed to be entranced and bamboozled by the fact that, oh wow, Richard Branson got to space. How, wow, how, how fucking incredible. We, we are a nation of children, like, we, we, we it is grow up time. It is time to grow up. Like, it's extremely obvious that the boomer generation was a group of coddled babies that never grew up, who are saying the most insipid, idiotic things you will ever hear humans ever say. Like, uh, you are the author of your own fate, as if a grain of sand at the bottom of the ocean can swim against the current. Uh, it's a childish sentiment to believe that all you need to do is pull yourself up by your bootstraps uh, in the face of an apocalypse that is literally unfolding around you, and that's the thing that'll actually do it. We have embarrassed ourselves to death, and if we continue in this idiotic trajectory that we are on right now, where we are uh, uh, watching keys dangle in front of our faces, then we're just gonna get blown away. The Earth itself will crush us with its might. And so much for our space exploration. So much for the idea that we are going to advance beyond our own, uh, our, our own world. So much for the idea that we get to Mars. So much for the idea that uh, uh, we colonize anything else. Like, the, this, this, this is a fantasy on the same uh, kind of delusional level as Jesus is coming back at any moment and the rapture is going to take us and save us and a new land will be born and all of this, right? Believing that we are going to get to Mars and actually colonizing it while simultaneously destroying everything around us is something that a baby would say. It's absolutely just childish fantasy. And we're going to plow directly into it. We're going to plow directly into this childish fantasy uh, until it literally blows up in our face. <sighs> Under these circumstances, guys, you are doing wonderfully, right? For those of you who refuse to be deluded, for those of you who refuse to uh, uh, listen to this insipid nonsense that's being constantly jammed in front of our faces, you are doing wonderfully. You're making good choices for yourself and for those around you. The billionaires spend hundreds of billions of dollars in order to gaslight you and to make you believe that you are less than what you are. Uh, instead of spending even a penny to try to get people off the streets, to try to ameliorate homelessness, to try to do anything to actually help anybody, Jeff Bezos would rather spend his money to get up uh, into space than actually attempt to help anybody and improve anybody's lives.
because we are taken over by a group of rapacious sociopaths who care more about their prestige and more about their legacy than they do about your life. You are doing wonderfully. You are doing well. You are a divine being standing on divine energy. We could use some of it right now. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, come to my live stream 6 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. Good luck. We're going to need it.